Uh, okay. Who do we talk to first? I mean, I don't... I guess Gold Mask doesn't say anything. Yeah, he's just... Ellipses. I mean, it's... 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 It's in his face. His face is... His mask is full of ellipses. So, obviously, that's all he's going to say. Hello. Um, alrighty. We are now back for hour three. Hmm. We have... Had a little stretch break. Boy, our armor is cool. I mean, it really does look cool. Uh, so... Yeah, we're now in, what, the Sainted Hero's Grave. And, uh, so let us see what this is all about, I reckon. Oh, what is this? Shadow bathes in light and knows weakness. Okay. Interesting little, uh, is this one of the first and only message rocks that looks like this? It looks very unique. Well, I hear footsteps. Does this mean... Do I have to put on my lantern? Is that what they're uh, implying? I don't know. Let's see. Well, this only requires... Dung ahead. Dung ahead, and then not here. Well... Let us find out what this dung is. Mm. Oh. Hello. What is this thing? Well. <laughs> the Crimson Seed Talisman. Which... Does that give us, like... Does that empower our sippies or something? Whoops. Boy, I'm in... The wrong menu all the way around. Uh, Crimson Sea boosts the HP restoration for Flask. Okay. I wouldn't call that dung. I mean, that... You know, if I had uh, maybe a different kind of build, that would be pretty... Uh, pretty okay. Um, first off, a hit. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I'm a little concerned about this whole being bathed in light and all that kind of thing. Oh, hello. Oh, it's the Salvation Army. Great. Um... There we go. Alright, got rid of you all. Okay. I mean, that... that I was gonna say, that definitely seems like a... A secret passage. Is that everything, though? Where oh, there there is monstrosity head. Oh shit! Oh no, man. Okay, well we got it. <laughs> that works. Ghost Glovort. Any other secrets? Does not appear to be. Okay. Cool, cool. Alrighty, I guess we will go up. And then... Oh. Okay, we got a little ladder. Is this a kickable ladder? Oh, that's not a ladder. It's a banner. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, it's got, it's, it's got a flashlight. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. What a fun little mechanic. I mean, is there a reason for me being up here? Do I just, like... I guess maybe we just walk around? Is that a thing? Huh. I'm, like, kind of afraid to, to try and, you know, navigate this. Huh. Yeah, I guess maybe we're meant to, to go around? I don't know. Can I? Oh. Oh, uh, okay. Well, we did. Behold, champion. Okay. 
yeah, is there is is there a reason to to keep uh, keep on keeping on here? Uh. <laughs> Whoa, oh no! <laughs> Hello. I mean, I see the dude. Oh, it does hurt them to to come into the light. Good to know, I guess. Yeah, I don't see any other thing up there, so I guess we'll just keep proceeding. Is this does this go back to to where we were before? Yes. Okay. So in that case, we will go this way. Um. And onward, I suppose. Uh. Some grave violets. Oh, somebody's become Elden Lord. How. 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 Uh. Good, I guess. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, I can't hit them. I see. They can hit me, but I can't hit them. Oh, God. I do have to just be in the light. Alright. Hello. Here we go. Yeah, I wasn't 100% sure of the mechanic, especially since I can see them, you know. Hello, Salvation Army. There we are. Any secrets? No secrets. Uh... Give me one sec. I need to check something just real, real quick. Okay. Whoops. All right. <laughs> ah, okay, on we go. Oh, are they dead? Okay. They're like steaming, it looks like. Or, or is that coming off? Oh, no, that's coming off of the, the light, uh, shiny place. Uh, liar ahead. All right, well, there's something down there. But there's also this way? No, okay. Liar, oh, liar. Well, we get a great violet out of it. Okay. Downward we go then. Trap ahead. Boy, it really does look like a trap. This looks like some uh, trap ahead. Be wary of ambush. This looks like uh, that quicksand trap from Dark Souls 2. <laughs> Liar ahead. The Landell Soldier Ashes. I mean, are, am I meant to go in here? Oh, shit! Hello. Ow. Well, we did it. <laughs> Wasn't 100% sure what to expect, but uh, we did it. Uh, oh! I completely forgot. We, uh... We just boosted all of our stamina, so can we wear... Yeah, we can. We can upgrade our, our armor here. Um... What is better? What is better? I mean, yeah, Radon's is the best, it looks like, but we, uh... That, that is heavy load territory. Um... How about regular gauntlets? Uh, those are an upgrade. Is this, are any, this is an upgrade. Okay. And we're still, yeah, we're still at medium. Okay, how about, how about britches? Can we upgrade our britches? Now that's heavy load, medium. 
this. This is an upgrade, but it puts us to heavy. Okay. I mean, hey, I mean, we don't look too bad. We look pretty cool. Um, okay. Got a little bit of extra protection. Always welcome. Okay, we've got some grave glove wart. Coffin ahead. Yes, yes indeed. Alrighty, I guess. Pull lever. This is, oh, there's something on the other side of that. I'm a little, uh, I'm a little wary. Oh boy. Oh, this looks, this is special. Oh boy. I mean, yeah, and it does look like I might need to hop on top of these things. Whoops. There we go. Ha! Huh. Ah! Go, and there is another one up here. Alrighty, be wary of left. Well. Okay. Oh, oh, there are many of them. Oh, and there's also Salvation Army as well. Here, maybe we can run up there and just... Gah! There we are. Oh, there's another one. All right. Cool, cool. Excellent. Got some mush. How many stone sword keys do we have? Still no key. Talisman ahead. All right, so maybe this one is a, a key item. Oh, we have three, okay. And we only need one here, so, okay. There we go. Oh, hello. There it is, Dragon Crest Shield Talisman. Plus one. And was that the one? I think that one gives uh, physical, right? Yeah, physical damage negation. So good to have, depending on what we'll be fighting. Um, how about here? Oh, up dog. <laughs> This this place is very large, it seems. Okay. I don't want to go this way just yet because there was still more left to explore out here. I don't know I don't know the area well enough to to just abandon it like that. Yeah, there's still all kinds of stuff uh, out here. Oh god. Hello. We likely necessary item. Yeah, how do you even get over there? Oh, I missed, missed this. Okay. There we are. God. Oh, that, that startled me greatly. Well, you can be on a horse. Can I be on a horse? Why, no. Come here. There we go. Ah! Well, I don't know how I missed him, uh... Or, I don't know how he missed me. <laughs> uh, hello. Goodbye. Well, I would love if the thing just came right down on top of him. <laughs> Anything here? Oh, 
a ladder. I'm going to assume I can't open this door. No, okay. Alrighty, I guess up the ladder. Now, look carefully. Well, I am trying to look carefully. Well, I don't see anything. It says there's a surprise attack, but I... I can't tell from where. Be wary of monster. Alright, well... Nope. Okay. There we go. I was wondering if maybe another one of those things would be tucked away in here somewhere. At least we know that if we get the jump on them, we can pretty much whittle their health down um, as they're spawning in. So they end up not being as much of a problem as they uh, have been before. Um... Okay, hey, root resin. Luring out required. Oh! Look at here. Luring out and then seek light. Okay. Prattling Pate, let's get to it. Okay. Hi. Uh. So, yeah, I guess we gotta draw it back down to the other room. All right, come on. We. All right, come on, come on. We gotta go into this other room to. F oh God, no! Oh no, not another one. Okay, well we got it. <laughs> All right, but there's no. Uh... There's no light though. Do we have to get it to drop down there? Or is it perhaps up here somewhere? There we go. Uh, hi. I mean, at least we can block. I just don't think we... No, we just can't attack. How about this light here? No, that doesn't matter. Okay, well, I guess we just have to drop down. Um, okay, you will. It will drop down. And uh, okay, that's that. Here, man, uh, come this way. Ah. Uh. Okay, here we go, here we go. Goodness, what a what, what an ordeal to defeat this thing. Oh, he does not like this. There we go. And boom. I gotta take care of him. Oh, and he was the, the lock as well. Okay. Um, so we still need to go up there and finish exploring what was, uh, this way. So let's do that, and then we'll see what, uh, what awaits us in the boss room. Well, I see messages over here. Is this something that I missed? Hidden path. Well, I don't think so. So let's see, yeah, there was a little drop down here, which, yeah, where even, 
No, have we been here before? This looks like maybe we've been here before. Trap ahead. Oh, yeah, okay. This is the room where all the, uh... Okay. This is where the sand was, and we dropped down, and... Okay, okay. I get you. I now have my bearings. Right, come on. There you go. You're gonna drop. Okay, off to the boss room, and we shall... Oh god, we will fight some kind of nefarious being. Pathetic sort of head. Oh. Oh, it's not a... Sh oh, look at this. It's like a... Ambush ahead. Oh, I see them. Okay. Oh, look at you trying to run around and do things, but wrongly. There we go. Bleh. Oh god, pardon me. Anything over here? No. Be wary of something. <laughs> Okay. Alrighty, I guess off to the, the boss room then. No merchant ahead. Oh, hello. Um, why is it always dark? Alright, well, uh, let's, uh, let's get all of our nonsense ready then. Uh, physic, strength, whoops. Uh, golden Vow. And why not some bestial vitality while we're at it? Okay. Let's do it. Oh, who are you? The ancient hero of Zamor. Oh, I think we fought one of these. Th oh, Jesus Christ. Well, the ancient hero of Zamor, everybody. <laughs> ancient Dragon Knight Kristoff and 20,000 runes. Well, cool, fun times. That was very underwhelming. <laughs> um, guess we might as well get some of this root resin, right? I mean, sure. Uh, I guess let's return to entrance because I think we found everything here. Defeated the big bad. Um. Boom. Okay, all the way up here. Alrighty, I guess that takes care of all the exploration here. Um, so next, so there is this tunnel here that looks like we can access by going around this way. Also, I wonder if we need to inform Brother Corrin about Gold Mask. Because we found Gold Mask, uh, yeah, way over here. So, I don't know. Let's... let's see. Does Bach have anything new to say? Bach, this seems ready to me. No. Okay. Yep, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. safety and such. Uh, torrent? There we go. Okay. Um. Boy, those ghostly uh, banners look really cool. Are you still here? You are. Hello, Corrin. We have found Gold Mask. Ah, you appear to be doing well. Very good. Well then, would you like to learn an incantation? Uh, yeah, let's check first. Okay, yeah, we've, we've bought everything. Uh, yeah, here, I, I know where Gold Mask is. Do, do you sport with me? Sport With your description, it can be no other than the Gold Mask himself. Of course. 
Of course, I knew he would be close by. Bless the Golden Order and its benevolent rays. And to you too, my sincerest thanks. Sure. Uh, May the Golden Order shine through you. Is there anything new? I will soon leave to join the Noble Gold Mask. It is entirely thanks to you. You have my sincerest gratitude. Okay. Great, great. Um, all right. May the golden order shine through you. So in that case, do we maybe... Do we maybe warp over here? And, uh... Or actually, uh... I think we would warp here and then take the little portal across. So let's do that. Just see if that uh, maybe advances this quest line, because I have no idea. Oh, yeah, we've got our the, the Fiddler on the Bridge over here. Yep, travel to location. Mm. Okay. Yeah, there they are. They're together. Okay. Looks like Gold Mask is still just, like, trying to pinch the sky. What? Can we get a good look? Yeah, he's just like a dude who's wearing this wild mask. Huh. Cool. Uh, okay. Who do we talk to first? I mean, I don't... I guess Gold Mask doesn't say anything. Yeah, he's just ellipses. I mean, it's 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 in his face. His face is his mask is full of ellipses. So obviously, that's all he's going to say. Ah, we meet yet again. Thanks to you, I have become acquainted with the noble gold mask himself, and taken my place by his side, as you can see. Indeed. Have no fear. I will still teach you incantations as before, though we must do so quietly such that we not disturb the great master's cogitation. Oh, yes, we we must not disturb the cogitations. Oh, we have, uh, we can do a thing. Uh, we can learn something new. The Discus of Light, one of the incantations of the Golden Order Fundamentalists, produces a ring of light and fires it forward. The ring of light returns to a position close to the caster before disappearing. This incantation can be cast repeatedly. A gift from the young Mikola to his father, Radagon. Okay. So we just, like, throw some Jesus frisbees or something? Let's learn it. Boom. Uh, yeah. And what about Gold Mask? The master is always deep in contemplation. While I frantically attempt to record his wisdom, the movement of his finger, and though I am yet to comprehend even the daintiest morsel of his wisdom. <laughs> I know that this, this is my life's calling. The Golden Order has bestowed me, talentless as I am, the great duty of documentarian. All right. Well, I, I mean, how, honestly, how are you studying anything about his movements? Like, you have a blindfold on. Like, I mean, you know, far be it for me to, to, you know, judge anybody for how they go about their business, but I just want to understand the, the mechanics here, you know. Um, May the golden order shine through you. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Oh, hello, evil. <laughs> the sun dude creeps me out. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he, he, he's a real, real character. <laughs> Um, okay, well, gosh, we've done that. Oh, yeah, we were going to warp here and then go into this cave and see what, uh, what that's all about. So let us do. Alrighty, boom, boom. We just talked to Bach, and we know he doesn't have anything to say. So let's see. Yeah, there's like a little... Oh, maybe we should take care of this knight first. Because I just know he will be peppering my back with, uh... 
Oh, we didn't come up here yet. Hello. Oh. <laughs> well. That'll work, too. Oh, hello, you all. This game is huge. Yes. Yes, it is. Good lord. I mean, it's still flabbergasting to me that, like, you know, we've explored over the last few months. I think I, at this point I'm about 71 hours in. I've explored all this. But yet there's still this giant, giant uh, missing chunk here. So it's like, how much is left? I mean, goodness gracious. And not only that, but there's also above ground and below ground stuff. So in invariably it's larger than, than it looks. Um, are we still going the right way here? Yes, okay. Although, there is a pathway up here. What is this? All kinds of things, actually. Oh, this is very dark and foreboding. Let us turn on our, our lantern of, of vision. Well, I got some kind of... Some kind of thing. Is this, is this going anywhere? Oh, there's all kinds of... Oh! Oh, we've been here before. Yeah, we, we dropped down in here a long time ago, and I I guess I didn't realize there was a path out here, and so I just tried to jump up the side of the rocks, and it worked. Okay, yeah, we, we were actually there already. I think even before I even commented, like, well, how did these things even get down here? Well, they just followed this pathway, obviously, that I completely missed. <laughs> So, okay, back this way, we got a little... Oh, we got them all in one hit, okay. Take it. Some more fruits and, and veggies and such. Oh, a bear. Hello, bear. Hefty beast bone, okay. Ooh. Oh, I hear a sparkly dude. Where is the sparkly dude? Is it like around here? Hello? Sparkly dude? Is it up here? I can he I can hear the little twinkles. Oh. Here we are. Got it. Okay. Oh, I guess it must have just been one for my juices. Oh well. What? What is... Oh, it's a bear from behind. A behind bear. Oh, and we got a big bear, too. Can I... All right, let's dance. Oh, God, I'm already knocked off of Torrent. Get up. <laughs> All right. God... All right, we're doing okay, we're doing okay. Oh. Still doing okay. Oh, it's running away. Can we get maybe a... We can. Oh, and we're gonna get to do a... A critical stab. There we go. Wow, that may have been the, the best luck we've had against, uh... One of those giant rune bears. That went way more smoothly than it has before. <laughs> we still... Are we still on the path? We are on the path. Okay. Alrighty. So, yeah, we should be coming to some kind of little... No. Oh. I was going to say we should be coming to a cave, but I just see loads of poison. Hello. I'm definitely going to set you on fire. Oh, man, you can still do your orbital strike. Orbital strike. Ow, god dang it. Uh. There we go. All right. Cool, cool. Cave ahead. Let me just make sure there's nothing else out here, like, hiding in this corner. Oh. See, this is what I mean. They're butterflies. Oh. Oh, we don't want to fight those. Those are... That's like a dual boss situation. Um, so, yeah, into the cave, then. I think, previously, 
when we went into here, into Altus Tunnel, in the boss room, or, er, yeah, in the boss room, we got a pop-up that we had entered into the Perfumer's Grotto, so I think these two things are connected in some way. Um, because there was also an area in here um, that uh, like I could see across a large chasm, but had no way to actually get there, so I think maybe we'll encounter it in here. I still feel like those crit stabs don't do nearly enough damage most of the time. I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess also it, you know, it matters, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? You know, the, this particular weapon just has a regular critical hit rating, um, but I know things like daggers and certain swords have, like, higher crit ratings, so it's like, um, you know, if you can get the, the crit with those, then, uh, you know, you, you do at least a little more, but yeah, it, uh, it, it does feel like just ramming this, like, four-foot sword into a bear's eye should kill it, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, where? Okay. All right, well, we got our summoning pool. Budding cave moss. All right, so that goes around that way. Ooh, we got a really... Oh, we have all kinds of people down here. Got a little, a little gathering. Uh, well, let's just kind of creep along here. Maybe we can get some backstabs. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> all right, do the rest of you care that I've done... Oh, oh, you're throwing sparklies at me. Uh... All right, I'll just go this way then. Does this loop around? Oh, are you following me? I thought I heard a jump. Yep. Hello. There we go. The perfumer robe. That looks kind of fun. Uh. How are we doing? How are we doing? Is this the loop around? Yes. Okay. What what goodies lie in wait? Some more cave moss. Boy, that plant is very pretty. Like I, I it, it just I, I very much enjoy like the purple and yellow and, and all that. It's it's very uh very pretty. I guess uh well, it knows we're here, though. There we go. I'm sorry, plant. Ow. You may be pretty, but you're also a problem. There we go. Okay. And we get a living jar shard. Five of them. Okay. Oh, some uh, silver fireflies. And I guess that's it. Okay. Onward we go. Same with Sekiro. The Cyclops needs two death blows. Like, bruh, I put a three-foot sword directly through his eye with my whole body weight. It's dead. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I still need to play Sekiro. You know, it's... Obviously, being a FromSoft game, it's up my alley, but uh, I just have not... Uh, have not managed to get around to it yet. Oh, we got another... Uh, did I miss something? Did I? No, that's just the loop around. Okay. Okay. Bloop. Um, try jump attack and then let there be treasure chest. Oh, okay. Is there something... Oh, there, there are multiple treasure chests. Well, I tried jump attack. Something's angry. Well, let's let's open the treasure chests. <laughs> a perfume bottle? Cool. I see you over there. And then ten living jar shards. Okay. Hello. There we go. All 
Alrighty. The pretty flower has been defeated. Miranda powder. Poison bloom and Miranda powder. Okay. Some more cave moss. More budding cave moss. Alrighty. Further we go, I suppose. Too high up ahead, therefore try ranged battle. Okay. Ranged battle. Oh, is this... Is this the room where the, uh, the centipede thing? Because, yeah, we, we... Yeah, it is. Yeah, because that... Whoa. Almost walked right off that ledge. Yeah, one of those weird underground, like, rock centipede, uh star demon things was hanging from the ceiling and we actually defeated it from over there um in the other dungeon um you know we we used that that long root there as as cover and so yeah cool so this yeah this is the area that we saw from the other uh dungeon some arteria leaf is there a reason to go over there that really uh that really seems questionable. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not going to try to go over there for some budding cave moss. Um, okay, well, time for target lock. Try target lock. Oh, there are indeed targets. Uh, what are you though? Oh, little flowers. Okay, the flowers. I'm not too upset about. I've never played a single FromSoft game. I've watched hundreds of hours of other people playing. It looks so amazing, but I know I'd get too tilted. I, I hear you. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, that was uh, kind of how I got into Dark Souls 1, like, all those years ago, was just seeing other people playing it. And I was like... And then I think at the time I rented it. Um, you know, back, back in the days when, you know, renting a video game from a... You know, a brick and mortar store was uh, was a thing. Um, rented it for Xbox 360, I believe, and played it. And uh, you know, I've just been hooked on the series ever since. Um, so yeah, like I, I, I definitely understand uh, getting hooked from <laughs> just like watching videos and stuff. Mm. And it's like. Before I got the PC, that was kind of the main way that I, uh, uh, you know, experienced a lot of games because, you know, I just had a 360 and, uh, later on a PS4. And, uh, if it, if I didn't have a game that was for those systems, then I had to watch, you know, streams or YouTubes. <laughs> as long as Bloodborne never comes to PC, I'll be fine. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> Isn't... Did it come to PC? Or, or is it just still PlayStation exclusive? I could have sworn it was on PC. But I may be uh, imagining that. Uh, okay, let's get buffed up here. Okay. Alright, we have hit ourselves with all kinds of spells. We're at full, full sippies. Oh, we just have another plant, Omen Killer, and Miranda the. B oh God. There we. Go. Oh wow, the Omen Killer just. Well, that's the end of the Omen Killer. Good Lord. And that's the end of Miranda the Blighted Bloom. Okay, and we get the Great Omen Killer Cleaver. And that's it. My little goth heart couldn't resist it. <laughs> Bloodborne is one of those. Um, I played it, but um, and I, uh, but I never got through it. Kind of like Elden Ring, um, which is why I'm, you know, doing the stream for Elden Ring. Uh, because uh, you know, I, I'd had the game for like a year or more. And uh, I'd never beaten it because all I did was make new characters and try new builds. And then before I would get anywhere, 
um, I'd get a new character idea. <laughs> it's not on PC. You can play it on PC, but you need PS Now and an active PSN account. Ah, okay, gotcha. I mean, it is cool, you know. Um, as I said, I never beat it, but uh, I played enough of it that, um, you know, I got to appreciate a lot of the aesthetic and all that, and it's, you know... It, it, it has it has its own thing, you know, and it's it is very uh, very cool. You know, and there's also the uh, you know the, the the whole question of is the Bloodborne world connected to the Dark Souls world? You know, and people have done you know investigation videos trying to to figure out if uh, you know if that's the case, and. Uh, you know, some of the some of the evidence is pretty, uh, uh, you know, uh, convincing, um, because I, th I think in Dark Souls One, um, in the Artorias of the Abyss DLC, you meet a character. I think the character's name is Jester, and he's supposed to be like from this future time, I think, and. Uh, when you see the outfit that he's wearing, uh, it looks very much like uh, like a Bloodborne outfit, including the mask he's wearing. And so it's uh, you know it's there's speculation like like is this is Bloodborne like the Dark Souls world in the far future or something? Um, and same with kind of like Elden Ring, where like they're like there are the same items like the 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 what is it the moon uh gosh uh, the dark moon great sword or whatever it's called um is in the game and so is uh like so are so are the basilisk enemies like some of the same enemies and all that so it's like you know uh, like are they linked are they the same world like just in different uh oh god oh dear <laughs> I'm talking too much and not paying enough attention. Uh, hi. There we go. That'll, uh, that'll slow him down a bit. Um. Anyway, yeah, there's, uh, oh, I, I don't have my sippies back. Um. That might be a problem. <laughs> This is a boss fight. Oh, I wonder if I could actually... I wonder if I could just run past them. How are we on time? Oh, it's almost time for my, my final little stretch break. Uh, I've also been... I, I think th there's a high allergy or above average allergy warning in the area today. And I'm very susceptible to that. And so I think that's also why my throat is a little out of whack. I've just been like downing water to try and keep myself lubricated and uh <laughs> i'm still a little scratchy i'm going to actually rest here and then that way i get all the sips back and then we'll go and try to fight those uh dual horse bosses and then uh and then yeah once we uh once we defeat these bosses we'll just rest here at this side of grace. I'll take my final little break and uh, we'll go for the final hour. So, uh, wait. I think it's a... Can I access it from here? There we go. I know they're here somewhere. Oh, they're up there. Okay. Okay, here we are. Um, okay, I can summon things, so I might as well summon my Mimic tier. Uh, Flask. All right, y'all, hold on. I'm still doing my buffs. <laughs> Hang on now. Uh, Flame, grant me strength. And Golden Vow. Okay, all right. We're good. Your allergies are going nuts, too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Lordy, they've seen us. Okay. Ow. <laughs> Alright, Mimic Tear, I'm counting on you. Whoa. I always I always had better luck fighting these things on on foot. 
Ow, I say as I get stabbed in the face and down to half health already. <laughs> there we go. Oh. There we go. I mimic tier. Gah! There we go, there we go. There we go. Are you doing anything down there, Mimic Tear? Oh god. Oh no. I thought I mistimed that. <laughs> Uh-oh. There we go, we got one. Alright, Mimic Tear, I'm coming. There we go. Oh god. Oh, well at least I blocked it. <laughs> There we go. Done. Heck yeah. 21,000 runes? Oh, the Erd Tree Great Shield. And a Hero's Rune. Fun. Can we even wield that Great Shield? Wield the shield? 30 strength. No. Weighty Great Shield forged of gold, carried by the Order of Tree Sentinel. Heavily equipped knights, blessed by the old incantation of protection. The living rampart of the Erd Tree. The tree sentinels are the standard to which all defenders of the Erd Tree aspire. Okay. And the unique skill of golden retaliation. You ready the shield to unleash its protective incantation. This will dispel sorceries and incantations, retaliating with golden power. Fun. All right. Well, we, we have defeated them. Uh, is there anything up here? I don't think so. I see messages, but no real thing to collect. Let me run over here real quick, just to make sure we're not leaving anything behind. Mm, doesn't appear to be the case. We went down there already and defeated that uh, weird alien boss thing. So yeah, let's uh, head on in. We'll rest here. I am going to sprint off to do a bio break, <laughs> and then we will uh, we'll come back for the final hour and see what all we can explore. So yeah, boom, there it is. Uh